Hey there. So today I wanted to make a video about the different kinds of guitar picks that I use when I play bass because I, I have an assortment of them and I use three or four of them at any given time based on what I want to do with them. And so I wanted to put together a little video where I talk about them. Today I'm going to be playing on my Music Man Stingray. It is a four string double humbucker. It is an active bass and I keep for demonstration purposes, I keep all of my EQ rolled to zero. I'm playing through a Mark Bass amp. You can find the statistics on it below. Um, there will be a link to the page in the description of the video. I am going through a pedal board, but I'm not going to be using any of those pedals. I'm in standard tuning. So first I'm going to play my bass just with my right hand. No pick whatsoever. So that's kind of your zero, that's your baseline, that's your, your reference point. Anything else you will hear will be with a pick. I'm going to try and go from the most rounded warm tone to the brightest tone with my picks. Obviously with zero being my hand you get that nice clean So it gives you a, a pretty subtle sound, at least out of a Music Man Stingray. And, you know, you could play anywhere on the strings and get different sounds. Which has its advantages and disadvantages. I typically tend to play right in between these two pickups. The first pick I wanted to bring is a... Mike's Picks Felt Pick. And I found this just a few days ago and I like it because it gives you a really subtle sound and it lets you use a pick, which there are a lot of things I can play with a pick that I can't play with my fingers and vice versa. So it's nice to have that kind of tone control and still be able to play with a pick. My biggest issue with this pick so far has been that it takes a lot of your power and volume out. It's a very, very flimsy pick. It's pretty bendable. So if you wanted a whole lot of presence, I wouldn't recommend this, but if you want something that's pretty quiet and subtle and still have to play with a pick, then this is definitely your go-to. That's the Mike's Picks Felt Pick. The next one I'm going to bring up is this one. It's a brain pick. It is. It actually doesn't state how thick it is on the pick, but it's also pretty flimsy. Not quite as flimsy as that felt pick, but it is still flimsy enough. I usually don't use this pick. I do keep it in my pocket just on the off chance. It's one of my giveaway picks. If somebody says, hey, I need to borrow a guitar pick, this is usually the one I hand them. Um, it's, I like it because it's got this texture on it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it does have this unique little texture right where you grip it. So it is definitely the easiest to hold on to. The next one I've got is this .63 millimeter Clayton pick. It's highlighted with their green color. This is probably my favorite pick that I use. I like these Clayton picks because of their triangular shape. They're so damn big and I love that about them. They give you a ton of space when you're playing on 
base. And they definitely save your cuticles from a lot of damage. I like this one because it's still pretty flimsy, but it's a Clayton, so it's still pretty thick. So that is my recommended pick, is a Clayton .63 millimeter highlighted with the tennis ball color. After that is the Clayton 1.0 millimeter. It's highlighted in brown. It is also that triangular shape that I like so much. So it does give you the same advantages that the other Clayton pick gave you, which is that you have a lot of space to work with. You can. You have plenty of space to strum and even make chords. And that's something I really like about this 1.0 millimeter pick, is that it is extremely easy to play chords with it. So I'd, that's another pick that I'd highly recommend, is a Clayton Brown 1 millimeter. After that is I have a Jim Dunlop Short and Stubby. That's another pick I keep on me pretty often. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of this pick anymore. I used to be when I first got it. This thing does not fl flim. It's not flimsy at all. It's not flexible. It's completely solid, which if that's your, if that's your gig, then it's awesome. But I find that a Short and Stubby pick with no flimsibility or no flexibility is not something I play very often. I need something that gives me a little more um, either space on the pick or a little more leeway. I think that this pick would be excellent if it was in this Clayton shape or if it was just slightly bigger. I'm finding that I'm constantly either dropping the pick or not getting the desired tone or I encounter some kind of problem with this pick. It's it's not a bad pick, though. Don't get me wrong. It's it's great. It's just that I don't think I would use it very much. I can see a guitar player who wants to play some pretty heavy stuff could use it. So it's great for playing chords. It's a great pick. It's just not something I use very often. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll turn on an EQ and I'll use a pick, um, and usually if I'm going to end up doing that, I'll use one of my Clayton picks, and that'll help me to negate some of that clicky sound that you get out of these picks. So there you go, those are the different kinds of picks that I use. Um, I would recommend the Clayton's the most, but this little felt pick isn't so bad either. But I'm not an expert on the subject, so take my opinion with a grain of salt. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will hope to be making a few more videos in the near future about my rig and what I play through.